Alright Okay Hello Hello, hello Everyone Hello Welcome to the stream of today everyone Hope you're all doing well so far on the weekend How about hope you're all doing uh, well and good <coughs> Being okay and all that If you are uh, then good Very very good Now Um okay today as you're saying in the title we're going to play some more imaginary scramble event and we're going to have the Van Gogh rolls. Now I'm, I'm not going to roll right away. I want to play some imaginary scramble first since I haven't done anything yesterday because I didn't have the time. Didn't have much time for it between downloading all data and all that. <coughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do the rolls probably after like an hour or so, once I take my break and all of that around that time, which is like after an hour and s around that so, <coughs> yeah going to do the bango rolls later on the stream, not right away so you know but of course uh, I'm going to start doing some more imaginary scramble because uh, I haven't done much uh, between the stream of uh, Thursday and yesterday I didn't have much time either to play so yeah but oh well it is what it is let's just go into the game let me do some last checks here and there and to make sure that everything is working Okay, and of course you're seeing the the big text right there or right at the top of the screen. Because I'm not going to do the rolls, as I said, right away. I'm going to do it later, <coughs> in like an hour or so. An hour and something minutes, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go right in. Okay. Um, alright. Let's get into the imaginary scramble thing. Event. Because I didn't do much. Apart from what we did on Thursday stream. I didn't have the time to do even farming or anything. But. Now we have the time. We can do some of that farming. Between to uh, for today. So yeah. Uh, let's get started Okay Let's put the event stuff, of course um, Hmm, okay Let's go with Emmy, yeah, I suppose I'm going to go with our own archer uh, Yeah, we go with our Emmy, I suppose Mm. And I think we can chase the CE for now. Let me put a Trifas, which is the one that I usually put on Emiya. But uh, okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's go without backup because we don't even have materials for it. Oh, and we can uh, skip the card scenes. Good. Because they also included that on the other. I didn't know that. But uh, I guess now we know. Now I know. We can skip the, the opening intro. Every time we start like a new free quest or main story chapter thing. Good. Very, very good. 
Okay. All right. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Um, okay. Let's go like that. We go like that, sure. Mm, that's a lot of defense for for that golem with that defense buff. But oh well, they should do it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Okay. There we go. That's the first node. Mm, okay. All right. Silver fruit, sure. I ha already have a lot of those, but oh well. Um, uh, we can do one more with uh, the scanning area thing. There's something here. So yeah, let's scan. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got... Treasure here. Okay. And we got a battle here. Although I think we kinda need to use uh, the backup thing for certain enemies, I think. I think that was how it works, if I remember when I played it on JP. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's on every battle or it's just on some specific battles from the map. Uh, let's just collect this first. I just want to check. If I go like this, I don't know. I might need to look it up on the wiki to see what uh, what we're going to encounter on these things. So yeah, for now we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave it be for now. Now intermediate casters, casters. <coughs> okay. Mm. We can go with the uh, summary star sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, we go with double. And we're going to put imaginary around because it's more damage. And yeah. Off we go. Uh 
All right, let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> simple enough. Okay. Um, sure. We can do this. All right, easy. <clears throat> now Um, okay Let's go like that Alright, <coughs> pretty easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, I think we need to go to the first node. We want to continue exploring the area and get points. Since it's the one that has the, the material that we need. Yeah, we need uh, this material here for Osaka Behemoth and explore the area. And we kinda need to to continue with the story, so yeah. And it's only here. And we cannot unlock y this one yet. We need to make a bit more progress. Uh, by the way, uh, I haven't looked at all at the shop. Yeah, at all. Uh, we got for the points. Mm, cubes, QP, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and lore, if you want. Okay, this is the shop CE that we need to get, obviously. The foes, sure, we can get those. EXP, always nice. Now, uh, Spirit Root, wouldn't be bad to get those. Um, and other than that, Leyline Spiritron, sure, we can get that. And, and the Rainbow Thread, sure. And that's about it. Everything else is more or less okay. So yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what I need the most for on this shop. So yeah. Oh well. Let's go back here. Now then. Uh, let's go with Tabo Castoria here and Emilia. Because I'm pretty sure I can at least loop on the last two waves. Can do a, a three turn, but uh, I can at least do... I can at least loop uh, two uh, waves if I do it right. So let me put back at Trifas for you. Or maybe dive to blue, since you, I'm going to use the R's, but uh, 
and be first could also be nice I suppose uh but well this is also fine I suppose we can just go with this since we can just go the full recharge anyway with Castoria um okay we have backup of course let's just go just go let's continue <coughs> Oh well, not a great start with the guards at least, but okay. Hmm, okay. Eh, so close. Close. Okay. Alright. Uh, you know what? We can do this. We get more attack wi with Castor SP. Why not? It's more attack. And we get like a. The invincibility. Sure. We can take that too. <coughs> Let's go. And there we go. Two hundred percent total of refund, just with that alone. Yeah. And we go like that. We go again. And there we go. Hmm. Only six? Really? Repeated battle with backup. Okay. Um we don't have enough to do a bit of exploration, so let's go let's get a golden apple and do one more. And hopefully get some more of the of the shells. That we need to continue exploring the map. At least do that. Uh, yeah, sure. We're going with that Castoria. Why not? Kora, Kora. Mawari no mewako kangai nai no ka. Aru aru. Okay then. Hmm. Okay. I think this will do. Yeah. That is all good. Okay. Hmm. 
And there we go. Okay. Nice. We do a brief chain and that should do it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, we got 18 now. Nice. Let's do some more exploration then. We can do one more. Um, okay. Now. We go... Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Nice. Okay. Uh, very close to get 4,000 points, which unlocks the third node here. So we go again on the saber node. One more time. Just one more time. Okay, then. Um, okay. Chance that All right. Yeah. That doesn't kill. Yeah, okay. Oh well. There we go. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. That will do. And we go again. Okay. 
Okay, we can even go two times now because we got 20 total. So let's do that. Let's do some more exploration. Okay. Let's go and check around this area. Let's open this corner. Yeah, there's something over there. There is something. And we can open the corner. Show yourself. And there's a treasure chest. Nice. Okay. Ooh, we got more scales. Nice. Very needed. <laughs> we kind of need it a lot. Um, hmm. Maybe this one over here. Okay. More treasure here. We'll take it. Okay, sure. Um, okay then. Then let's continue on this side. Okay, enemy here. Okay. Now. Let's go here. Okay. Oh, and we got the requirements for the next story. Cool. Um, okay. Last one. Okay, and more treasure. Okay, nice. There we go. Not bad. We uh, open like, yeah, like a little over half of the current map. So not not bad, not bad. And of course, uh, the second part of Act 1 is already is now unlocked, because we met the requirement. But first, I want to do this free quest. That also got unlocked earlier. Uh, Berserker, then we can go with foreigners, if you want. Mm. Yeah, sure, we can bring in the mango here, sure. And I'm going to bring a uh, Voyager here with imaginary around. That will do. And yeah, yeah, pretty much. Just go. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do this node and then we'll continue reading some more of the story. Okay then. Hmm, okay. Roger, <laughs> No, 
Okay. I must Yarimas. All right. All right. Um, okay. Oh, not that. Didn't want to click on that. On the skill, but oh well. Um. Okay. Uh, sure, we can do this, I suppose. All right. Nice. Oh. Uh, okay, we can do one more exploration here with what we got. So that's nice. So let's do that and let's read some more of the story. <coughs> Um, okay. We can unlock this. Sure. Nothing in the area. But okay. Uh, story. The Ignorable Reef Part 2 out of 2. And we have to go with four supports. Okay. Let's go. Now then. Hey guys, listen to this. Professor and the goddess lady said they found a way to compare enemy carcasses from void to reality. L uh, to from void to reality, like it. Like it is split? I, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how to say that. Ligety? Split? I, I don't know. Well, so what's that mean? It means we can finally eat the void monsters. Oh man, that's gonna suck for you, master. I didn't even eat monsters meat back on the mysterious island. Monster meat, huh? There you are, master. Oh, you look tired. Is something wrong? Did you get groggy from one of the Nemo Marines surprisingly strong drinks, like I did? Uh, no, the Marines and I were just working out a little. That sounds like a great way to, say, uh, to stay fit in an enclosed space like a submarine. I'd love to join you, but first... Captain Nemo just made an important discovery, and he's called an emergency briefing on the bridge. Come on! 
Ok. <coughs> Hey there, Acting Commander. Thanks for playing with the Marines. I know they can be a little rambunctious sometimes. Anyway, I have good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Does the good news have anything to do with our new monster meat menu? So the catfish is already out of the bag, huh? I have to tighten up the ship's security protocol when I get a chance. Still, the situation is better than I expected. A lot better. See? Uh, we're not just going to eat and or burn up the monster carcasses we collected as they are. I know Van Gogh said we could eat them as is, but it turns out she can only do that because of her unique spirit origin. When Professor took a look at the sample of Van Gogh's blood, she found it could convert void beings, that is, imaginary beings, into real ones. After further research, she managed to extract all sorts of usable real materials from void enemy carcasses. It's kind of amazing, really. We now have renewable sources of organic matter, minerals, magical energy, and safe to eat cuts of meat so our resource problem is solved. This kind of practical experiment has never even been attempted in the history of void-related magecraft, let alone succeeded to this degree. So yes, that's the good news. Oh yeah, that's great news. Really great. Monster meat, great. I see you are not too happy about this either. Osaka, Behemia, and Skahaskari were pretty stubborn about not wanting to try it or make it you eat it either. We've um, certainly hunted monsters for food in past singularities, but these are an especially unusual case. I mean, these creatures live in a sea that, dri uh, that drives us mad if we we'll just look at it. I don't think we can blame anyone for being, well, hesitant. Which is why I decided to do this. Hello, everyone. Oh, it's you. I think we met briefly back at the dance ceremony. That's right. This is Nemo Baker. Well, she, of course, is a specialist in baking bread. She's also proficient at cooking in general. Thanks to the new magical energy we have to spare, I was able to convert part of the of Skahakskadi's magecraft workshop into a kitchen. So with Baker working her magic, even monster meat will be more appetizing than rations. At least I think so. Captain, can you take this more seriously? Delicious food is one of the great joys of life on a ship, right? Don't worry, everyone. I'll do my best to make a yummy meal out of whatever ingredients I have to work with. It's not every day you get to go on a cruise, after all. So the more good memories you make, the better. I'm still scared, but I do feel a bit better. So yes, that's the good news. Now, the bad news. I'm afraid there's actually two things to share here. First, we now know for sure that we can currently emerge back into reality space. Because of the damage to the ship. Actually, we wouldn't be able to emerge right now even if the ship were perfectly fine, since the void space we're in now has no concept of depth. Well, specifically, this void space is so deep that it rejects any measurement of, of depth. The sense of depth we have here now is illusory. As a result, the Nautilus cannot emerge from this place any more than it can dive deeper. Basically, the spells that Paper Moon uses to employ the necessary concepts for, emerge for emergence are unusable right now. Any attempt to move up or down either simply won't work, or they'll cause to coordinate access to freak out and make us crash into a rocky shoal, so we have to be cautious. The hallmark of submarine warfare is its third dimension. But here it's restricted to a two-dimensional plane akin to traditional maritime warfare. So when we encounter enemies, we won't be able to dive down and sneak underneath them or anything like that. Alright, now that you're caught up on the first piece of bad news, you're ready to hear the second. Remember those giant enemies Van Gogh mentioned? Well, Sonar, he may just pick one up. Is she okay? Oh yes, yeah, she's fine. She used to be in a living torpedo now. And she's sounding more like a seasoned scout every time. You certainly know a lot of interesting people, don't you? At any rate, in reality space measurements, this giant enemy she discovered looks to be over 80 meters long. Holy cow, that is huge. Yeah, in fact, it's vastly larger than the original Nautilus. Probably twice as big if the amount of waste water is putting out is anything to go by. So yes, it's huge. Easily big enough to qualify as a bona fide enemy ship. 
Of course, you may have seen even larger enemies over the course of your travels. I guess the Tree of Emptiness are bigger than that. Well, that does tell me a lot about the trials you faced to come this far. At any rate, we should expect giant enemies like this one to bombard us with noble phantasm level attacks, like the kind we saw before. And given the route we're taking, facing those things in close quarter combat is inevitable. Do you think you can handle them, Master? I'll do my best, but my priority will be to keep everyone safe. I agree, which is why I think we should consider sending out the acting vice commander too. <coughs> so you want me to defend everyone in the close combat team against the enemy like before? That's right. If you can hold your ground in close with the enemy, they shouldn't be able to target the ship either. That said, servant's combat, uh, servant combat is master's domain. So I'll leave the team formation and the timing for sending everyone out up to you. Got it. Let's go then. Yeah, that is big. Enemy ship alpha. Endurance battle. Yeah. I see. I see. Um, okay. Hmm, okay. Okay, turn three. Okay. Uh, this is okay. We can do that. And I guess a bit of healing doesn't hurt. Um, okay. The uh, Noble Phantasm wouldn't do much anyway. This is endurance, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, turn five. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. There we go. Now let's see how this goes. 
Let's see. We need to call them back, now. Alright, Marines, get them out of here. Uh, out of there. Reel in their lifelines on the double. Wait, the reel's jammed. Now? This is Yang Sonic Cliffe calling in from on site. We're dangling like a fish on hooks out here. I'm hearing a lot more creatures headed our way from 275. Sounds like reinforcements. Get us out of here! Can you get back to the ship on your own, Jiang Guife? No way! This thing will send us flying who knows where if we try swimming away. There is one thing I can suggest, Master. If we cut the combat team loose and use my noble phantasm, those of us on the Nidalus may make it out of here alive. Absolutely not. Alright, I can see how serious you are about bringing everyone back. The way things are going, we need to keep that option as a last resort. We have ap approximately 70 seconds until enemy reinforcements arrive. Come on, master. All of you, think. Think. I can't hold out much longer. We're doomed. I knew I should have just stayed in my room like a good hiko. <laughs> so much for my new life. Still, I'm glad I got to meet all of you before I disappear. No, don't give up, Jed. Just kidding. This isn't over just yet. Just a little Van Gogh for you. <laughs> oh, you sound really confident. Are you stronger than you look? Do you have some kind of secret plan to save us? Could you all close your eyes? Huh. I'm going to release my novel phantasm. And even I don't know what will happen once I do. It's a picture I painted when I was going through a really hard time, and I am a foreigner after all. But I am sure that if I release it, <laughs> we'll make it out of this alive. Go for it. By all means. Do it, Van Gogh. Now what? Computer room here. All of our instruments just went haywire. Whatever this is, it shouldn't be possible. Even in voice space, I can only theorize someone activated a novel phantasm on par with a reality marvel. Somebody on the combat team used a novel phantasm we've never seen before? Oh wait, hang on. What's this now? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yes. Our instruments are back online and uh uh-huh. It looks like things are okay there now. I can confirm that the combat team is back in the safe zone. Master? Captain, if you're going to fire the Noble Fan, doesn't now's your chance. You heard the professor. Let's do it. So you're choosing to take the fight to the enemy here, huh? Very brave, Acting Commander. Attention all hands. Prepare to deploy Noble Phantasm attack. Of course, the ship won't be able to endure the recoil in this current state, so divert all the energy we can spare to an anti-impact spell. Or drag against the enemy ship at 065. The aftershocks should also drive off the reinforcements. Give it everything you've got. If we can break through the enemy in one shot, we'll all be sunk for sure. I always give it everything I've got. Hey, computer room, you're sure you can keep this engine intact, right? Nope, I can't. But I'll do my best to make sure it at least doesn't come apart entirely. Will that uh, an advanced PNL, scary engine room lady? Hell no it won't. You mess this up and I'll be making you dance on top of whatever's left of our magical reactors. No, no, this is terrible. Professor's gonna end up a seafood barbecue. This is quite the one person show you're putting on, Captain. I'm just a bit flustered and I am in the mood for a speech. Would you mind? Go for it. Alright, everyone. Win or lose, it all comes down to this. Well said, Captain. That's what being a sailor's all about. Nope. Start up the Triton engine. All sections. Final safety checks. Go. We've already got the enemy square in our sights, of course. Copy that. Distance to target and attack pattern analysis complete. Enfold in magical energy barrier. Now that's what I'm talking about. Engines 1 and 2. Keep it rev right up to the red line. Hmm, would anyone mind if I made Guster potting for today's snack? Not at all. Alright, here goes. Whoever does threaten the peaceful seas is going to have to answer to Captain Nemo. Great Ram Nautilus. Great.
full speed ahead. <clears throat> okay. No battles here. So let's finish this chapter. Great work out there, everyone. Oh gosh, I still can't believe we made it back alive. I don't think I really understood I'd gotten myself into before. I'm happy. I was useful. <laughs> I wonder what happened back there. I think I saw something, but... Ah, uh, my brain. All I can remember is seeing something horrible. Me too. I'm not sure why, but when I try to recall what happened, my head just hurts. This is how you react after we all managed to make it back alive from a fearsome battle? Yikes. Warfare has changed a lot since my time. Young we face right. This is the best possible result we could have hoped for, seeing as we didn't suffer a single casualty. That said, this victory did come at a cost. The ship's frame is only just holding together. The pressure hole is in tatters, and it almost cost us cost us all lives to stop that rainbow color leak. Luckily, we were able to hold it back thanks to the Nemo series and Skahaskari, but honestly, I'm not entirely sure how we're still alive. Let's just say I'm glad we got nurse here. We lost because we didn't plan well enough. Also, we underestimated our enemy, and we were way and we and were way too careless about securing an escape. We might have succeeded at removing the giant enemy blocking our way, but only at the cost of the Nautilus being as stuck as a beach whale. To get moving again, we'll need to collect everything we can from the area and put it all towards fixing the ship. And since the next area, uh, since the next areas are only going to get bigger, we'll need to really focus on resource collection. First, we'll use what parts we have to get the Nautilus ready to sail the void sea again. We need to focus on silent running and store space for our extra resources. At the same time, we also need to expand our options for void sea warfare. Once we have more magical energy, we can and should bring in more servants to help us. That said, it's now clear that attacking those giant enemies with servants in close combat is a full servant, and we shouldn't bother trying to do so any longer. So it's going to be absolutely essential that we find a new supply of torpedoes somewhere. I'm afraid we can no longer afford to accommodate passengers. You are now all part of this ship's crew, and I'm going to work you accordingly. Be ready. But I don't want to work. That is no way to treat a goddess, but very well. I have plenty of skill and experience helping models, so I will do what I must. In particular, I'm guessing the two foreigners will be key to making our way out of this void sea, so I'll be counting on you more than ever. Of course, as skilled though I may be, I'm happy to help any way I can. Um, I'd like to help too, but I don't know if I can. You said you don't remember how you used your novel phantasm? Uh huh. I was so caught up in the moment that I never understood exactly how I was using my novel phantasm, or what his expects were. I'm sorry, I really am useless. <laughs> the only thing I'm good for is eating monsters and um, expelling them as magical energy. I appreciate the thought, but no. Oh, how about my blood instead? You can have as much of that as you like if it'll help. <laughs> Van Gogh, uh, for the time being, your job will be to help the resource acquisition team, and to cooperate with Professor and Nurse's test. We should have enough blood from you for now, but if we do need more, we'll be sure to ask. We're counting on you too, Van Gogh. I got a job, and praise! This is amazing, <laughs> I promise I'll do my best. Alright, I think it's time we nail down a firmer plan. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> I got a job. Steady work. Income. This is so cool. I'm going to do my very best. <laughs> Koki. Ah, uh, Lady Yang Are you hugging me from behind? It's so great how well you're fitting in here. It really gets you motivated, doesn't it? I know it is for me. I look forward to working together. Yes. I do too, Lady Yang Wife. Good luck remembering how to use your novel fan, doesn't probably. I'm rooting for you. 
But why did that painting make that happen? What is a foreigner anyway? What am I? Good questions. But they will be answering time. All in good time, I suppose. One uh, sink words. We'll take it. All our battle cry has been added to request for backup. And we need 13,000. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> um, alright. Let's do one more uh, node. Let's do the Berserker node for now. Since it also gives the shells here. Let's do one more with the AP that we have left. Since uh, we can. We're going to bring you back, sure, why not. And there we go. Yeah. So that is Nemo back up. Okay. Alright, let's do this one. Uh, battle. Le uh, we explore a little bit more with what with the materials that we get and uh, might take the break after that might take a break after that to get something to eat and once I'm back we'll get to the rolls all right but first let's do this battle mm, okay okay <laughs> I'm a Okay. <coughs> Okay. I'm a star. Uh, so close. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, there we go. Nice. Um, let's see. Thirty-two. Okay, we can do a bit of exploration. We might be even be able to get enough, maybe, to unlock the next chapter. I suppose, probably, maybe not. Uh, how many was it again? How many was it again? 13,000, okay. I would like 10,300, okay. Maybe not yet. We like three... Uh... Three times, maybe not. Mm, if we can find the treasure, then maybe. 
we might get enough for 13,000. Maybe. Let's see. This is a gold chest, so let's get that. Let's get this. Just the points, okay. Oh! And a 4 star foe. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. And now... Oh, there's something here. We're seeing the sonar. Uh, then... Let's check it out. Mm, it's maybe there, or maybe a bit... Uh, no, there it is. Good. This should do... This should do it, to get enough points. We should have enough points then. With the chest. Yeah. Device scale, we'll also take that. And cubes. Of course. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Um... Yeah. There it is. New chapter unlocked. But... We're going to get into the summon first, in the summon page, because... We're going to do the rolls, but I'm going to do them... After the break, because I'm getting hungry, so... I'm going to take a break right here, after doing a bit of farming and exploring. Uh, if it decides to load, then... There we go. Again, the Vanguard rolls. Here they are. But first, we're going to take a, to, uh, take a break. We're going to go to the summons right away after the break. So yeah. Uh, be a little bit patient. A little bit more. If you can. Uh, if you can. Because I'm going to go get something to eat. A drink. And uh, I'll be right back and do the rolls. Alright? So yeah. See you in a couple of minutes. Okay?
alright. Okay. I am back. So, let's get to the summoning. Van Gogh, finally here alongside Nemo. Although today is Van Gogh's solo raid up. Just one copy is fine for me. I'm just going to say that right away. Um. Okay. Okay. So, 26 tickets and 268 same quest total for Van Gogh. And if we get the event it's all the better because I don't have any of them except the free 3 star C that you get when starting the event. But yeah, uh, one copy of Van Gogh is all I, I want. And pretty much it because everything else is the Yanguife banner, the Halloween banner, and that's about it. Yeah. So uh, we're going to do the the five tickets, one temple uh, ritual thing, the the Kita Shorn ritual, if I remember it is called. So let's do that, like I always do. Data is also downloaded. I checked before. Uh, before starting the stream so let's see starting with a servant but yeah okay that is one two ticket number two Okay, <coughs> number three. <coughs> um, okay, number four. So far, nothing. Uh, nothing that is readable, at least. And number five. Mm, okay. So nothing on the first five tickets. Let's do a uh, temple then. Someone is calling. But I have to ignore it. Because I am busy. Oh, uh, assassin is book. Right on the goal, Carmilla. I don't have Carmilla. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess. Oh, rainbow! Please be for a guard. No, Xianju. Now you're MP2, really. Ah. Uh. Oh, a gold spin. Let's see. Who is it? Archer. Okay. I'm not sure this makes you MP4 or MP5. I, I cannot remember. But uh, okay. Ah, there we go. Five star C. 
at least something good out of this at the very least But okay. Yeah, hello, Carmilla. <laughs> what a first temple like this. Carmilla, who is new for me. Another copy of Femia. Xianju, who is now on P2. And the 5 star C. Like, out of all of this, this is the only thing that I was afraid up. The 5 star C. Great. <laughs> what a temple. Okay, let me take a screenshot. There we go. Wow. Yes, wow. Very rare for this to happen. Especially for me. But it's... Come on. Let's do another 5 tickets. Okay, <coughs> number two. Okay, <coughs> three. Okay, number four, Mapo Tofu. Okay, number five, we get two, we get two here. Just in single number ten. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. So far, the only thing that we got on raid up is the five star C. Yes. No well. Ten pull number two. Now ah, there it is. Another three star C for the event. Mm, we'll take it. <coughs> we'll take that, I suppose. Okay, map it off again. Um, telepathless. I'm not sure if I have that MLB. I doubt it, but I'm not sure. I guess I will have to check after the, the summoning session. Medusa. Okay. 
Zero the three star C. Okay, at least I got uh, two three star C copies of the event, I guess. Three copies total for me on, on that. Other than that, uh, nothing else. Let's unlock this for later. Hmm. Let's go with another five tickets. The clown CE. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Number two. Okay. Number three. Number four. And uh, ticket number five, what do we get? Okay, that's copy number four. One more and it will be MLB, I suppose. Okay, and still no four star CE of the event inside. Still no event four star CE yet. Oh well. Let's do a temple number three. Starting with a gold spin. Glass. Berserker again. And it's Lancelot. Okay. What a great start, I suppose. Not sure about, uh. Not sure how, uh, if it's MP2 or MP3. I, I, I cannot remember at this point. It's been so long. Ah. Great. Just great. Ah, there it is. First four star C of the event. Now we got one of each, at least. So that's nice. Assassin's book, a Steno. I don't have Steno. You are also new on the Assassins. Okay, another one. We'll take that at least.
Okay, I guess we got another new servant. Hmm, interesting. Um, okay. Another screenshot because I I would like uh, because I want to uh, I tend to post the results on Twitter later. So I guess this is another important temple, I suppose. Let's look at this one. Okay. Man, I guess I, I am getting lucky, but not in the right place. Just not in the right things, I suppose. Oh well, five more singles with the tickets. Another gold spin, okay. Who is it? What's the class? Lancer is another spook. Is Parvati. Hello, Parvati. You are also new. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Hi. こんにちは。カルディアのマスターさん。ニガにパールバディと申します。お二人は清らかな少女の体を仮成権現させていただきました。私も不慣れな状況ですので、一緒に成長させてくださいますか? Okay. Another one to the list. Fine. Single number two. Come on. We'll take that at least. We'll take another copy. Number Number four. No, okay. We got the three star C MLB now with that. Number five. No, oh, and again. Okay. And that one came very fast. So it's another one, yeah. The same Z, but twice. Okay. I guess. This is not looking very great. But like, my luck is there somewhere else, apparently. It's just in some other place. I guess. This is temple number four, so let's see what we get. Let's see. A bit of lag, maybe. Mm, no. Nah, it just was a normal lag, like any other. Oh well. Another four star C. Cool. Okay. No. Another five star C. We'll take it. Sure. That should be number two.
Um, okay, I guess. Well, I guess I got some more of the CEs, I suppose. I guess. Let's do the last of the tickets that we have. The last five or six. And after that, it's just the, it's just the temples. After that, we just got the temples. <coughs> so let's get this over with. Let's get this singles out of the way. <coughs> okay. More three star C copies, I suppose. We keep going. Okay, let's do the ticket number six. This is the last one that we have. <coughs> let's do the last one of the tickets. And after that, it's just ten pulls. Okay, and there we go. That's all the tickets. Let's continue with the temples until we can continue with that anymore. Until we finish our same course. Come on. I'm not sure if I have that MLB by now. Probably. Or maybe very close to it. <coughs> Be elegant. Okay. Okay, I should have that MLB by now, for sure. Pretty sure. Definitely. Okay, don't really need any more of those. And that went pretty fast. Yep, it's another one. Don't really need any more for sure. Of the four star. Okay, yeah, uh, with this alone, it should be more than enough <laughs> to have the, the four star C ML bead. Yep. Okay. Next, 
What do we get? Okay. More servants, I suppose. Don't need any more of the three star C either. Don't really need that anymore. Mm. Okay. Okay, not amazing really at this point. I already have the the three star C MLB more than enough at this point. Oh well, with this, two more temples. Yeah, and we might get a third one if I have the two same quests remaining for if I make progress in the story. But uh, for now, they should be the two more temples, and that should be about it. Because I think uh, I will get up to 28. So yeah. Okay. Mm, 
Okay. This is bad, essentially. <laughs> this is just bad. Nothing else to say about it, just bad. Okay, yeah. Last temple, because I don't have any more saying course. I will need two more to ano for another temple. <laughs> ah, oh well. Last one. This is the last one. Gold spin. What class is it? Show me. Thank you. Thank God. On the last temple, you really let yourself wait in. You really kept me waiting. Jesus. Finally. I was already starting to get ready for the disappointment, but thank you. Okay, finally. We got Van Gogh, finally. On the very last temple. Thank God. Okay. There we go. Finally. Hello. Okay, not another screenshot. <laughs> there we go! We finally got her. Finally! Well, because it was the very last one. Thank God, we got her. Okay! Good! Finally, we ended a, we, we end the the summoning session in a good note at least. Thankfully, but still, <laughs> took quite a while and a bunch of spooks for it. Because let's see, we got four new servants. We got Carmilla and Seno for spooks, and outside of that, Anemia spook, which is now an NP4. One. Shanju, now NP2. Yeah. The horse, now is NP2. And Berserker Lot, Berserker Lancelot, now NP3. There we go. Pretty much. Those were the spooks. Before getting Bango. Okay. Uh, I do have some foes already. From like uh, the mission... Mission thing. For the... What was it? Uh, the special mission thing that we got. For like the pre campaign for the imaginary scramble. We got a bunch of foes from that. Mm. 
Yeah, that's, 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 those were all the photos that we got from that. Um, I don't have the uh, EXP either. So let's use the same ones here to level up a little bit at least. Just a little bit. Level 29 with all of that. Okay, so yeah, we might need uh, five more of each for 1k, and the rest is just EXP. So yeah, uh, maybe we can get some from the shop, yeah. And I think only the foes. Yeah, already got the XP. Well, might as well at least get. Nah, let's get all of them. We have the cubes for it. And the month is almost over anyway, so might as well. So let's get this. And give the rest to Van Gogh. Yep. Round the five here. And there we go. 1k. We got the silver foes. For Van Gogh. All that's left is to level her up. But I don't have EXP yet. So we'll have to wait. That we'll have to wait for now. Um, Now for the rest of the silver foes, who should I give it to? Who do I give it this to? Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot. Parvati also we got a spook. <laughs> Completely forgot about Parvati. We got a spook by Parvati too. Completely forgot. She appeared in a single. So I guess I forgot by accident. <laughs> Without remembering at all. Um, mm. Who do I have? That is an... Uh, sure, we can give them to Chloe. Why not? We need to give this to, any sp to someone, I guess. We need to give this to someone. Okay. Now. <coughs> we have around an hour left for stream. So let's continue the story, shall we? We should go to the next area. The Thunder Shooters Fishing Ground. Part 1 out of 4. Okay. 3, 2, 1. All stop. Perfect. We're right on the edge of the second area. Looks like we're in the clear. Well, we did cut the engines and go along silently for a good while. There's no room for complacency now. I'll show you the skill and grace of a submarineer. Alright, we made it to a new area, and we have a few resources we can spare. Can you summon us more fighters like we discussed? Of course. Great. Like I said before, it's essential that we have a way to use torpedoes again. I worked out all the errors and bugs, so we shouldn't have a problem summoning a Chaldean servant this time. That's great, but I can think of any servants who can fire torpedoes. Maybe one of the inventors? That's okay. We don't need actual torpedoes. Whoever we summon has to meet several conditions. First, they need to possess a large projectile novel phantasm. Something along the lines of an anti-ship cannon. Second, that novel phantasm needs to use physical matter for its ammo, as opposed to something like laser beams. It would take a long time to explain why, but... Basically, any beam fire in the void sea will lose a lot of its power. What about the enemy? They use beams just fine. 
true, but only because those cheaters use some kind of mysterious void the right beams, and we currently have no idea how they work. It seems like it'd be really hard to both analyze and apply the tech to an old phantasm. <coughs> <coughs> My voice died there. Let me get some water first. <coughs> okay. My voice died, died for a second. <coughs> uh, so we're thinking of going back to basics on this with some good old-fashioned projectile ammo. Projectiles are great. They're a shining example of what oil and metal can accomplish together. Mass-wise, they are simple, powerful, and reliable. Best of all, they can be heavily customized. For example, we can add self-propulsion and homing capabilities to them with just a few runes. There you go. Third is no fantasy projectiles can use anything like gunpowder to fire or propel them. While well, we'll of course do our best to suppress any sound produced as a side effect of using this novel phantasm, it would be pretty much impossible to fire a cannon silently. Ideally, it would be great if this novel phantasm were really powerful, but we, are, we can compensate for that to some extent. If we connect this theoretical servant to the Nautilus magical reactors, we can power it up enough that even a d rank novel phantasm will work as long as it's anti-army. So taking all of that into consideration, I think we might actually have better luck with a Lancer or an Assassin than an Archer or a Rider. What about our resident goddess then? True, that would work fine, if we had the real Skahak here. But we now know that when Skahak's Kari forces herself to change into Skahak's Assassin version, she ranks down so much she's no stronger than an average human. It makes sense, really, since she's an actual Skahak. Anyway, suffice to say, she definitely shouldn't be taking part of in be taking part in combat this time. Not to mention that she is now an essential member of the engineering team. Frankly, it would be a waste to send her out to the front line. Then it'll be up to the personal selection routine to find the best servant for the job. That's right. Okay, do it. Raiko. Oh? Oh my. I know I had a lot on my mind, but I could have sworn I was still training in the simulator. It's Raiko. Oh, you're really so happy to see me. Wonderful. Mother is always delighted to see you too. I do remember hearing you were conducting a training exercise at sea somewhere, but I'm kind of certain I wasn't on call to be summoned. <laughs> I see. Something unexpected happened, didn't it? Well, that's quite alright. No matter what the problem may be, I'll resolve it as quick as can be. By the way, my my, there certainly are a lot of young women aboard this ship. Yes, it's a very good thing I came here. A very good thing indeed. Crap, a berserker. This is the last thing we need. I'd better keep that to myself, if I want to make it back alive though. Senpai, I think this might be... Yep. Hmm? Is something wrong? I sense it's some decidedly mixed reactions. Not at all, knight of a foreign land. You have come at a perfect time. Helmet in order is just what this ship needs. I am told you want to spend a summer as a veritable demon of discipline. Unfortunately, I have the outfit you wore at the time ready and waiting. The indecent outfit I wore to combat in this to combat indecency. So you did know it was indecent. Ahem, <coughs> well, if the situation calls for it. No. No, I mustn't. I can only serve as the Shadow Prefect during summer, when the runs raised to sharp public decency. Otherwise it will lead to all sorts of problems, such as... How should I put this? If I were to become the Shadow Prefect now, I'm concerned I may not be able to, um... Pull my punches? That public decency might soon become the last thing on our minds. Oh, it's so hot in here. I know we gotta go to save energy right now, but the DAC have to go too. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead out on patrol. Unacceptable. Now. By my command, spell etc, etc. My eyes have been opened. 
No, it's exactly what is going on here. It seems this ship is in need of a hot bed of sabers weaker temptations. But worry not, dear master. If I must abandon my motherly duties and don this forbidden outfit to protect you, then that is what I shall do. Unacceptable, unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Miss Lancer Raiko. Wonderful, wonderful. Now come with me. We must formulate a plan to combat indecency aboard the ship. Hmm. Huh? But I was going to start by confiscating all of Lady Osaka Behemoth's abundant indecency attribute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now come along. <laughs> Matsen, please tell me you are going to consume instant situated to Korosaka... Korosaka... Me the second she showed up. Sorry about that. Oh well. Alright, I have heard the entire story in excruciating detail. Really, you could have simply told me what was going on when I was first summoned. Then again, I suppose that may be easier said than done. At any rate, now that I truly understand the situation, rest assured that I will make full use of my Indra given burial lightning to obliterate these mystics from a foreign sea. We did it! <laughs> and that is not all. In addition to combat, Reiko's powers should also allow us to significantly expand the size and scope of our Reikon capabilities. Indeed, if I deploy an envoy of Kosu Tenno to the Boise and have them run scans by sending out lightning waves, but that should... Really? Yatta! I'm free! Hiko life, here I come! Don't be silly, we still need all the recon we can get. In fact, we will be counting on you now more than ever. Also, I know nothing at all about interpreting the scan results, so I plan to force that off on... I mean, how do you handle that part? Now I have more work than ever! Come back, sweet freedom! Come back! There we go. Her back-breaking workload should keep her in this insane check, thereby leaving Master's body and soul safe once more. Right. But of course, one can never be too careful. I must remain ever vigilant in my pursuit of public decency. I was kind of worried how things were going to go there for a while, but it looks like it worked out. Though I still don't understand how Caldeas can change the spirit origins just by putting on swimsuits. Swimsuits, swimsuits. Maybe if I wore one, I could be a different class too. Heh <laughs> Kidding. Just another Van Gogh for you. That would never happen. Never. Is there something you're worried about, Van Gogh? Huh? Not at all, Captain. I'm just enjoying my second lease on life by making pictures with the paint the goddess lady snack of me. Hehe. <laughs> uh Master, there's something I think you and the other leaders should know. Could I talk to you for a bit once we're done here? Not quietly. Okay. Alright, now that our private discussion is over, what do you make of Yang Wefei's story? You see, I actually do remember what happened when Van Gogh used her novel Phantasm. I thought you three should know too, but please just keep this off the record. So Van Gogh's novel Phantasm was... Le Pet... Le Pet and Guy? And I probably butchered this. I can really pronounce this correctly. I believe it's called. It's certainly one of Van Gogh's more famous paintings. So according to Yang Wefei, Van Gogh painted an old man surrounded by a variety of things in space, all of which then uh, then basically came to life and rescued us. And she's worried about the fact that Van Gogh was able to make things he painted in voice space into reality-based objects, right? Right. To tell the truth, the only reasons we are able to interact with voice space at all are the weird mischraft chips and Van Gogh's blood. Really, her spirit origin is practically a treasure trove of ways to manipulate voice space. And now we have additional information from Yang Wefei's novel Phantasm. While it's difficult to make much sense out of the logs or sensors recorded during that battle, since they are so unlike anything I've ever seen, if Van Gogh really did manage to create an enormous mass out of nothing, something that would be completely impossible in reality space, a lot of things start to make sense. Let's say the young with fancy textures weren't able to keep up with this new being that suddenly appeared. 
and the result of mental shock to everyone out there fighting made them forget what happened. If that's accurate, it will explain a lot. Not just about that battle, but the entire situation we're in right now. Now we know it's entirely possible that all these obstacles and monsters that could normally never exist in voice space were created by her novel phantasm. To be honest, I think a lot of us were suspicious of Van Gogh when she first showed up. But she seemed so harmless that we all slowly let down our guard around her. Speaking personally, I don't think she means any harm, but she also wouldn't be the first horror spirit to be, um, going through some stuff. So I think we need to keep all of this in mind going forward. I agree. Plus, she also seems to be confused about who she is right now. Yeah. If only we knew for sure who she is. Hmm, well... Hmm, something's not right. Do the action commander and the captain know more than they're letting on? <laughs> is something wrong, Lady Yang Wife? Your presence up against that door tighter than a tree frog. It's nothing, really. But, uh, Kohi, I just want you to know that. As a foreigner myself, I'm on your side no matter what. Well, bye. Huh. Sometimes I really have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Second region. Okay, nothing yet. Um, okay. Let's see here. Um, assassin. Hmm. Um. Oh, right. I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot. Let's. Uh. I completely forgot about the seas. Hold up. Because we got a bunch of seas here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one here, there we go, that is ML beat, perfect, and now the, this one, there we go. Okay, and uh, we only got an extra copy from this, for the 5 star, but hey, at least we got the CE, at least, and yeah, everything else is just extra stuff, oh, and uh, this is also an extra that we don't really need anymore, I suppose. Now, uh, if I remember, we also got... Child of Atlas. So let me check if I got that. Uh, nope. This is copy number three. We just need two more for that to be able me uh, um, uh, limit break. Yeah, ML beat. Yeah, there we go. And that should be about that. Uh, about it, really. Everything else is already done. So let's go to the shop. We're going to leave this. We're going to leave this one because we could put them on support, but the rest will go. The rest will leave. They will all get burned. Okay, and the rest. Sixty-eight total. Okay. There we go. Now that we got the seas more or less organized now, let's do the uh, the uh, free node that we got here. Uh, we can go with that caster, I suppose. Uh, let's put 
I see. Hmm, okay. And the five star. There we go. And. Hmm. I guess we can bring in caster kill, I suppose. <coughs> I suppose we can go with that. And we can put this A. This is. A nice, uh, an ACE, a uh, pretty good one at that. For what I've seen. <coughs> so, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, uh, that will do. Uh, let's go without backup. We need those resources for exploring around. <coughs> okay. Let's continue with the uh, farming and exploration then, now that the summon is that the summoning session is over. So let's continue some more. Mm, okay. Uh, I don't think uh, Castor Gill is able to loop even with double Castoria. It doesn't. He doesn't have any decent. Uh, and be gain by himself. So I'm not sure if he if he will be able to loop with this. <coughs> Let's give it a try, just in case. We're going to be uh, to leave that one attack up just in case. Because I'm not sure how much will it gain in exchange. Now I'm not sure how much refund he will get with this. Let's see. It isn't B2, but uh. Sixty. Total. Okay, yeah. That will be a bit hard, <laughs> but, at but at least we get the skill for this chance, and we have the Mystic Code. At least we can loop somewhat for two waves, but not much. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, so this gives a little bit of everything. Okay. Okay. <coughs> we can get this. All 
right? A damage CE. The first one out of four. So that's nice. Uh, we need the shells though. We need the shell, so let's return here and go to this node since we also need these things too the tooth so might as well let's bring in a Voyager We go like that. Yeah, we go like that. Without backup. We don't need backup on combat for now. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's do some exploration with this. Now we got. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to leave the. whatever is left from this area for later. But for now, let's focus here on the new area. This is much bigger. Much, much bigger. Mmm, no. Nope. Um. Uh. Bob Sage is here. Not, I'm pretty sure I butchered it, but uh, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure I about the name because I'm not sure how to say it. But uh, thank you so much for the follow.
Okay. I guess. Hmm. All right. Just a little bit of progress, I suppose. Let's return here. Do one more. And go. Okay. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Easy. Easy. Pretty easy. Okay. Another CE copy. Okay, we got a chest. Let's open it. I think I want to stop here. That's enough for today. I will continue on my own then for the rest of the week and all of that. But for now I think I'm going to leave it here. Yeah. I think uh, that's enough for now. 
So yeah We uh, continue a bit more on the imaginary scramble We got some stuff already on the shop Like the ziggy copies already We starting to get those and uh, We ended up getting Van Gogh after so many spooks I even lost count, I, I don't know how many we got already uh, we got uh, Xianju as a spook 5 star, Emilia, Seno, Carmilla, uh, Berserker, Lancelot, and Parvati. I think that's all of them, so 6 spooks in total for what I counted before getting Van Gogh. So yeah, that was quite <laughs> quite the ride, and that was pretty early too, or like the first uh, like the first pool and the third one and a single here for Parvati, if I remember. So yeah, quite crazy, I must say. But uh, hey, at least we got Van Gogh. The next summoning that I want to do should be Muramasa, who should be the New Year Servant. I will have to skip Toma, I know, but uh, priorities here. You know, someone has to keep their priorities after all. So the next summoning should be Muramasa for New Year. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you all enjoyed the stream and the rolls. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for uh, Honkai Impact Third. We'll continue with the story. We'll continue the story and exploring around and all of that. Pretty much. Oh, uh, before I forget, we are going to have here in my country the day daylight savings time thing. Which we call the, the change of hour for our time zone. So it's going to be instead of GMT plus 2, which is the what we got here during the summer and, and until now, it's going to be one hour less, GMT plus 1, okay? So it's going to. St so for some people, it might start a bit earlier than usual, but that's the reason, pretty much. I will also post it on Twitter just in case for people to see. But yeah, pretty much. And with all that said, with all of that, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow then for Hawkeye back there. Same time as always, 4 p.m. GMT plus one. Keep that in mind because tomorrow we had the change of hour and all that. Plus one, okay? One hour less. Uh, but yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow then. Bye bye.